The Toby Fox effect. The phenomenon when the majority of a fan base ignores the character who fits into the Tumblr sexy man criteria and instead lusts for the small memeable man. Wow man, tornado warnado in effect. Did I seriously say freaking tornado warnado? Oh my god, I meant warning. We have the possibility of a tornado warnado. So please get by your doorsy warsy locked. And make sure to close your windows. We don't want your housey wowsy to be blown away now, do we? I swear to God. L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary. Egg. Someone who doesn't know Steven Universe, try and explain what's happening. Uh, heckin', uh, the gremlin and the tall god gnome cannot believe that the Lego lady is murdering Santa Claus. He also has a mullet. He has a mullet. Why are they trying to hide it from- Thank you for participating in my level 100 Deltarune analysis post. My hex have runneth dry. Roses are red. Violets are blue! He's the first member of the DK crew! Huh. DK. Huh. Since Deltarune is an anagram of Undertale, we can expect great games such as Tundra Eel and Alert Nude coming in the near future. Why do witches always want to fatten up kids before they eat them? That is like the gross part of me. Why, hello, little children. Please follow me to my magical fitness room! No pansies allowed beyond this point! Leave your whining at the door because it's leg day! And we're about to get ripped! Because they are always cooking said kids in cauldrons and ovens. AKA long cooking times at lowish heat. If you do that to fatty meat, the fat melts completely, and the meat gets it tear it apart with the fork soft. If you did that to lean meat, you get tiny little sad meat bits that bring no joy to anyone. Well, you did ask. Also, there's wisdom in fattening them up on sweets and other carbs. A meatless, carb-rich diet makes for more tender and flavorful meat. You are arguing about the semantics of eating children! Spider-Man is so heckin' funny. Dude sounds like an entire country and then he goes home at the end of the day and opens his fridge. He's got like one egg and a half, half empty can of Arizona tea. No matter how old he is or what comic he's from, it's just how Pira lives. Somebody post the we have money, oh thank god, screenshot. We have money? Oh thank god. Today I learned that a survey in the early 1990s revealed that Mario was more recognizable to American children than Mickey Mouse. Serves the nasty ass mouse right? We like a hard working Italian man. Me? Pissy? Don't worry about it. I got a whole hour of sleep last night. So I'm just raring to go! This ball isn't okay. I don't even play this game and I'm concerned. Chibi Dog Wife needs rest. And all of you that hate mint ice cream, what happened? If you think I'm gonna eat frozen toothpaste, then you are mistaken. This forces me to believe that you've 
either never had mint ice cream or have never brushed your teeth. If you got like a 100 kilo bag of glitter and, and opened it up and life it in the path of like a tornado, I think that would be interesting. I don't care about how oh, ecological damage, by the way. I do. A hundred kilogram bag of seaweed based glitter. I don't. A hundred kilogram bag of enriched uranium based glitter. Wait, isn't uranium denser than lead? How heavy would a 100 kilogram bag of uranium be? Thyral! Just end me. <laughs> Still, is that we got the feathers? What if mayonnaise came in cans? That would suck, cause you can't microwave metal. Good morning to everyone except these two people. This photo really brings me back to my dorm room days. Instant ramen was always on the menu while I was up late studying. Confirmed! Isabel went to uni and we are proud of her. Isabel actually went to 19 different universities and has 19 engineering degrees. Isabel is a millennial icon. 19 degrees and she can still only be a secretary while well, you're the mayor. I guess also a Gen Z icon. <laughs> Cause some of the older Gen Z's like myself are kind of in a similar situation as millennials. I'm so tired of this life. I want to be a Roomba. I want knives taped to me. And I want to be set loose. The energy of this post is dark and mysterious. And also spherical! I hate the fan base of nearly everything I'm into. For a minute, I thought I was pretentious, but a quick search through Tumblr tags reminds me that no, y'all are just heckin' weird. Lamau. This is how people get Tumblr famous by being hateful. I got famous slinging nut jokes. I'm just flexing at this point. I love it when you finally figure out how your OC world works and have your story click together like a beautiful and ornate puzzle. Finally being completed and you feel the gears in your brain shift from realization to sheer power like... Oh! <laughs>